Are you ready to practice your beginner crochet skills to make something you can actually use around the house? Hi, I'm Karina Ferguson, and in this video, we're going to be making this adorable little corner-to-corner -corner washcloth, and I'm gonna walk you through it step-by-step. So in this video, we are going to learn how to make this corner to corner washcloth and the corner to corner washcloth is one of my favorites. It's easy. You can make it any size you want and it's super cute. A lot of times you'll see patterns for these corner to corner ones and they'll stripe them and they'll use different color yarns. I love to use a self striping yarn. This is a self striping kitchen cotton because then you have only two ends to weave in. Less ends to weave in is better in my opinion. So the way that it works, it kind of goes like this. You start with a square, the next row has two squares, the next row has three and so on and so forth. And then when you get it diagonally as wide as you want it, the edges are the right size, then you start doing less squares until you get to one little teeny tiny square at the top. All of the things in this um, washcloth are double crochet, slip stitch, and chain. So those are all the stitches that you need to know to do and we'll be ready to go and you can do it with me. So like I said, the corner to corner washcloth starts off with one square. So let's do the setup block. When we do that, we're gonna start with a slip knot and I do my slip knots like this. Here's my tail yarn for the weaving in, wrap it over my finger, got a little cross, pull that through, not too tight, because we don't want it to be too tight on our hook, but we do snug it up a little bit. And then we're just going to, if I can get my fingers to work, chain six, two, three, four, five. I always want to pull them too tight in the beginning. Don't be like me. So then we're going to go and we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, which is this one here. So we're going to wrap our yarn over, come into this buddy, and we're going to do our double crochet. Give myself a little room on the yarn there. And I always feel like the first couple setups are like the fiddliest. And then we're going to double crochet into the next chain. And one more in that very last chain. So you have a chain six that you started with, and then you did three double crochets into the rest of that chain. And that's your first little blocky block. So that's our setup block ready to go, and we're ready to move on and start the increasing blocks, including the beginning block. So this is our setup block, and when we do the rows, we have two kinds of blocks. We have the block that's the very beginning of the increasing rows, and then we have the normal blocks that we do as we go along. So let's do the block that we do at the beginning of the row. And in that one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna chain six, three and four and five and six, and I count out loud all the time and drive my family crazy. And then you're gonna go into that fourth chain and then we're gonna start doing that double crochet action. So a double crochet here. And I feel like you just gotta watch me do a lot of crochet in here. You might fast forward, you might be a lot faster than me. Give my yarn a little room here. This kitchen cotton is nice and it's perfect, of course, for you know using actually using in your kitchen but it's a little bit grabby sometimes. But it comes in so many pretty colors. You can do so many things with it. And I love these self-striping because like I said, I am not a fan of weaving end ends, so I don't wanna do it. So this is my beginning block. <clears throat> and I've got my first block here and I've finished with my chain six and I've done the three double crochets in the chains as it says. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the chain stitch to the chain space from the previous row. So the way that that works is we're going to slip. Here's my chain space from my previous row. I've got my doubles and then this is my chain. I'm going to slip into here and that's what's going to kind of anchor that as we go. So we've got to slip into there and then 
to finish off the next block, we're gonna do another block, we're gonna do a chain three, and then we're gonna do three double crochets right into that same space that we just slipped into. So one, two, three. Three chains is the same height roughly as a double crochet. I'm gonna hang this yarn off of here so it stops, stops messing with me. So, and then we do three double crochets into that. And that's really all you need to do the continuing blocks. You do the beginning block, which is where you chain six, and then you um, double crochet into chains four, five, and six. You slip into the chain space from the previous row, and then you do chain three and three double crochets. So here's my three double crochets and I'm gonna pull this through and you can kind of start to see, it always looks like super wonky to me in the beginning, but then of course, as you go along, you get this prettiness. So I know that it works. You just have to trust that it works. Trust me on this one. So <clears throat> again, we're gonna do more of this. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna chain six, and then we're gonna do the double crochets. We're gonna slip into this space. That's gonna be where our next block is worked. And then our final, our third block on this row is gonna be worked into this chain space. So let's take a look at how that looks. So like I said, as you're continuing to go along, it's really easy. You've got your beginning blocks, which are the chain six blocks, and then you've got your regular blocks, which are worked into the chain spaces from the previous row. So here, I've got, I did my chain three and three double crochet into this chain space. I slip, and those chain spaces are pretty easy to see, into the next chain space. And that kind of anchors things. And then I do chain three, three double crochet in the same space. And then I do it again for this very end block. And as you do that, the blocks are gonna increase and increase. This is the row that has four, five, and you can make them as big as you want. Um, they make great actual use in your kitchen towels. You just um, have to make sure that you have enough yarn to finish it. So when we get to the halfway point on our washcloth, actually it's a little further than the half point because this is the very center of it, we're ready to start making smaller rows of blocks as we go along. So what we need to do, we finished this last row. We're gonna turn the work, get our yarn behind us, and we're going to slip stitch into each of these three double crochets from the previous row. So we're just gonna, first one's always sticky, we're gonna slip one and it gets easier. They say it gets easier. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the third one. And then when we get to the chain space here, we're gonna slip into that as well. So when we slip into that as well, we're ready. We've turned the corner of our work and we're ready to work the rest of this row. So this is row eight on the pattern. And of course, all the pattern tells you exactly what you need to do. So we've slipped into that space and then we chain three, two and three. And it's just the same as we did before. We do the three double crochet into the space all the way to the end of the row. But instead of doing another block at the very end of the row, we're actually going to fasten that off when we get to the end of the row. So let's do some a three here so we can see how we've turned the corner. There we go, I keep splitting this yarn. So we've turned the corner here and you can see our angle is changing. And then we're gonna work our blocks in all of these chain spaces. But when we get to the chain space at the end, let's see how we do that. So this is our first decrease row again. And like I said, we slip stitch up the edge and then we did our regular little blocks all the way down until we get to the last chain space. When we get to the last chain space on a decrease row, all we do is we slip to link it and then we turn the work. And then once you turn the work, you're doing the same thing again. And these rows will just repeat. We're gonna go ahead and get our yarn behind us here. We're going to slip into those first three stitches. Slip, slip, slip. And then after we do that, it's just those normal blocks. We're gonna slip to get into the block 
in that chain space and then we're going to do the chain three and then we're going to do the three double crochet and then you'll continue making blocks all the way across. And every row that you do in the decrease row, you're gonna end up with one less square until you get to the very tippy top. And then there's just one square to finish off. And when you get to that one square, you slip stitch and fasten off. And then let's turn this the correct way. This is our last square here on the top. You can see we had the chain three, we did the three double crochets, and then we just fastened off. And that is how you get your corner to corner crochet work at work, crochet washcloth, goodness. Um, and like I said, I really like the self striping for this because the colors change automatically and you get pretty things with not nearly as much work and definitely less ends to weave in. Thank you so much for joining me to learn to work this adorable corner to corner crochet washcloth. Check out our website for more great videos.